Hi, good morning. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to access Seesaw using a student's Clever account and how to navigate around in Seesaw. First of all, the student will use their Clever badge or their Gmail account to log into Clever. I'm on my teacher account because I don't want to accidentally show uh, student information, but your child's page will look something like this when they get onto Clever. I'm looking for Seesaw. And here it's in my uh, second row here next to my PLTW between the my PLTW and Tinker. It's the icon that looks kind of like a butterfly or sometimes the students say a bow tie. It's actually an old fashioned seesaw. So your student will click on that and I'm not going to do that because I already have Seesaw open, but when they click on that, it will open Seesaw for them. And again, this is my account, but I have classes that don't have real student names in them. What your student will see is in the upper left hand corner, they'll see their name and it'll say student and then however many classes they're associated with. And that red six means that I have six notifications. In my case, students have been turning in work to me or sending me messages or families have been sending messages. And on the student side, that would mean either that they had a new activity to do or that there was something new in the inbox. In order to switch to one of the other classes. When they first get in, they're probably going to be in their teacher's page. They can switch to another class by tapping on their name in the upper left-hand corner, and they'll see a list of all of their classes. So to switch to a class, it's really easy. If I wanted, for example, to switch to my AAPS PD class, I could just tap on that and it would switch me to that other class. If your student is signed into their own account through Clever and there are any messages for them or activities waiting for them, they would see a badge next to, for example, activities. Here they can see the work of the other students in their class. And again, this is a sample class. There's not really anything in here. They could either look at their own stuff. So the student who is pulled up right now is Hannah. And if I tap on Hannah's name, Hannah can see everything in her journal. The other thing that we can do is click on activities. If there is an activity that's been assigned by that teacher, it will show up here on the left sides. This is a made up activity called Lego Landmarks. And if a student wanted to respond to this, they would click add response. Now what happens here is there's a list of student names. That wouldn't actually happen in your student's case if they're signed in through Clever because Seesaw already knows what student it is. But I could say like maybe this is Aid and Aid is going to respond to the activity. Sometimes there's a template for the student to use like in this case. Sometimes they just draw a picture or something. So in this case, they can use this T button to add text and they can use the microphone button to talk about their project. They can use the camera to upload a photo or to take a picture. And the three dots lets them put in shapes in a background. The um, quotation marks lets them add a caption, which they can type or use with their voice if the microphone is enabled. And when they're finished, they'll use the green check mark to submit it to their teacher. And then their teacher will see it on the other end. Another possibility is that the teacher has asked students to, like maybe they've sent a message. And if you think your teacher may have sent a message, you can click on the inbox. And there are student announcements. This one I sent as an example while I was practicing with my class. And you would see notifications here as well. That might only be on the teacher side, not on the student side. I'm not actually sure. What your student is probably going to see are journal activities and inbox. They won't see skills, but they can use the messaging with their teacher and they can use activities. And if they want to add something to the journal, they can do it by clicking the plus add button here and they could post something and they'll be able to choose from these tools. Photo takes a picture. Drawing goes into the tool that I showed you before where they can draw different things. And I didn't point out that there are different kinds of pens down here. Pencil, a pen, a highlighter, a glow pen, an eraser. So they can choose from all of those tools. They can take a video. They can upload something from their camera roll. They can write a note to the teacher looks like note paper, it's cute. And they can attach a link if they have something that they wanna to link to for their assignment. Teachers may be using activities and if that's the case, it'll be important to click this add response button 
but teachers may send out an announcement and just ask students to respond to the announcement, in which case they would click the add plus button. So it will depend a little bit on the custom situation in the classroom, but I hope this was helpful. Have a good day.